What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to try to vintage cube as soon as it. There it is. There it is. We're vintage cubing. What's going on over here? My curtain messed up. I don't like that. Now well, it's fixed. Okay, I'll just bring myself a little bit. Look back. You got some Yeezys on a chair over there. You can see. Look at them. Um, I'm just gonna take this Mox jet because Mox. What, what can you do? Mind Slaver, do it now. I'm probably not, but I do. I mean, like, I appreciate it. I appreciate the suggestion because it's a good one, you know? It's a good suggestion. <coughs> Take remand. You guys are all so, you guys are all so wild. Uh huh. Got black mox. Metal worker. I like a metal worker. You gonna work that metal? Work that metal. You got Nissa, opposition agent. I'm gonna take metal worker. It's early enough to take metal worker and feel good about your life choices, right? You're like you know what? I did all right. Right. Ooh, smokestack. That's the kind of card you want to play with Metal Worker. Just kidding. That's the kind of card you don't want to play with anything. So I do like a Duretti here. I like Battle Ball, but I like Duretti a little better as a card. Hmm. It's either Duretti or Mere Battle Sphere. These are the two picks we got here. I think we gotta go Battle Sphere. It's an artifact. Oh, a oh, a Tinker? Yeah, we're tinkering. <laughs> That's, I got excited about the Thran Dynamo, but come on. We got Tinker in our hearts. I Waffle Bot. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Not really in for Shinobi when we have Metal Worker and Mox Chet. Unless we're attacking with our Metal Worker. Um, man, we could have Duretti and K Command. That'd be wild. It's just Hanger Back. I mean, it might just be Hanger Back. It's not exciting, but it does the thing. You should probably open Academy. That's a good idea. I appreciate your ideas. I'd like to subscribe to your newsletter. I think we're taking Hanger Back here. Duretti's cool. Duretti might come back. <clears throat> but. Ooh, coercive portal. Now we're jamming. <clears throat> I mean, I think hangerback's way more important when you have a tinker. Ooh, Academy Ruins. If Mind Slaver comes back, actually that's that's not bad. We're not high tiding here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Academy. We're on track for an Academy. <clears throat> Balance could be real banging. Yeah, we're taking balance here. That seems legit. Now we're just going to pick up all the signets. Oh, 
Wow, Mindslaver didn't come back. It's kind of weird. I guess we're Ulamogging. I guess. I don't even know. Lingering Souls is also an option if we're kind of like trying to be Esper. Let's take Lingering Souls, actually. Thank you! I don't love a Lotus Bloom. Or a Cosima. I mean, Relic is an artifact. Hmm. Oh, what up, hell of a dude? <clears throat> I know a drunk. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Take Lotus. Oh, God. Smokestack came back. That's a bummer. It's a bummer in the sense that, like, it's an artifact, but I don't want to take it. And of all the cards that... <clears throat> I guess this wasn't on my list of cards to come back. This was just on my list of cards that exist in the cube. Eh, I'll just take Avacyn. <clears throat> no, Weird Tear's all right. Oh, wow, Dreddy came back. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. What do we got here? Oh, two Exodus. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Got Sheldock Isle. No artifacts. Literal zero artifacts in this pack. Hmm. Sheldock's nice. Hollow Fountain's nice. There's always the dude who says Geddon. Of course, it's Monster. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it's. I feel like it's chilling here. I mean, Kai is fine as a card. I think it's great, but I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to play four colors here, so <laughs> don't really want. Don't really want a card that's two of my splash colors. <clears throat> I mean, if anything, we're splashing this off of the Mox Jet and not playing any black land. So um, I think we're just taking Sheldock here. Oh, bribery! Oh, you're gonna send a bribery to my way? Sure, in for that. Oh, you're gonna send a Tefri down. Well, you're really just you're really just giving it to me here. You're really just giving me the business. In the tiki 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 room. I like a stone coil serpent. I can see picking up stone coil here. Disenchant my table. <clears throat> Where are my signets at? I'll take a I'll take a red blue signet. I'll take a red white signet. I'll take a white blue signet. I'll take a white red signet. I'll take a white black signet. Blue black signet. Okay, I mean, blue-green signet's not what I'm looking for, but this is a late Mana Vault that I will gladly take. What is this, fourth pick? Like, one... Is this, like, fifth pick Mana Vault? One, two, three, Sheldock Isle, then Mana Vault? There are four packs, four picks better than Mana Vault? <clears throat> That's funny, we said no signet discrimination, and then I was like, blue-green? Shut up and take my money. Oh, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, it's a wonderful day. Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. I hope it is a wonderful day, man, dude. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The moon is right. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's really easy to get Christmas songs stuck in your head when you look outside and it's just covered in snow. <clears throat> I kind of like Arid Mesa here a lot. It doesn't get anything yet, but, I mean, it lets us play Duretti a little easier. Obviously, we're white. 
Phantasmal Image also good. We could also just be blue white. I think we're just taking Air Mesa. <clears throat> okay, nothing exciting here, Thank unfortunately. You. Oh, Mike with the Oh, Eric with the three hundred thousand. Oh, two way with ten gifted subs. Thank and Eric you. with ten gifted subs. Oh man, you guys are amazing. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, that was back to back at like the same minute. Thank you. Wow, you guys are friggin' awesome, dude. I just want you to know Thank that you're you. awesome. <laughs> See what it is there? <laughs> I'll take an Amiri's call. I like an Amiri's call. It's a card I don't have to put in my deck, but it still helps Thank me do you. things. <clears throat> Eric, thank you so much, dude. Two way, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you guys. Should I say thank two way? Should I just say two no? I don't know. Hmm, who knows? Chromox is weird because it's an artifact, but you can't thank pitch you. another artifact to it. So in an artifact based deck, it's not great. <clears throat> None of these cards are thank great for you. us. Actually, this is not a. It's not an ideal pack. So I'm just gonna take the Chrome Mox and call it. Oh, Kai came back. Thank so did Armageddon. <clears throat> oh my God! Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Right, Chrome Mox in a brown deck is a little crazy. Thank yeah, that's you. exactly right. I mean, because it's like, it's weird because I'm like, it's an artifact deck, so I could just put this artifact in here. But the, but you need colored cards to imprint onto it. Thank so you. it's like, oh, well, that sucks. Chandra is also real good too. Thank you. I'm taking the Chandra here. I think it's just going to be easier to cast. Well, I mean, I'll take a Winter Orb. Thank you. I'll take a Winter Orb. You know what? I'm okay with a Winter Orb. Yeah, I'll take a 3B baby. Man, there's going to be a bunch thank of thank you. yous. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be a sub. Oh my God, Katie. <laughs> Thank you. Why? Why? Oh dear. Oh, we got the disenchant. That's fine. I wasn't really I wasn't paying attention. Eh, I'll take Thank a stomping you. ground. We can get it with Arid Mesa, so if we want to play an ancient grudge, <clears throat> which we kinda do. Alright, this pack really we need, we need to you. really step it up a little bit here in this third pack. We do have Tinker. <clears throat> so I, I think we want Inker. Inker and Tinker. Thank you. There's a Flooded and an Underground. I don't care about the Underground so much. The Flooded is very, very nice here, but I think we have to take Inkwell just because we only have one target for, Thank you. for Tinker and for, for even Doretti as well. It's real on again. Off, yeah, it is. Katie's Katie's relationship with her subscription is real, real on again, off again. You really never know what's going to happen from month to month or week to week. <sighs> this is a pack. We got Tezzeret, Emery, Phyrexian Metamorph, Tundra. Man, man, oh man. Yeah, exactly what Destiny Trigger said. Exactly what you said. I'm going to take the Tundra. I think it's the most most versatile and the least likely to come back. And if any one of these four even come back, I'll be completely fine with that. I think we're more focused on getting some decent lands here than than picking up another another playable here. Especially because we don't really know what colors we're, we're leaning towards. And Tundra can be gotten by Arid Mesa, which is a very big game for us. <clears throat> so we have a Pestermite. Memory Jar is neat. Mishra's Workshop's got to be where we're at. I don't like. I don't even think that's true, though. Hold on. We got like one, two, three, four, five. We only have like six artifacts. I know y'all are here for magic or whatever, but this is important. I don't keep putting off that discussion. You just never have it with me. Got her. Oh, man. Does Emrakul do anything for us? Not really. I'm going to take the workshop, but I really, I'm really reluctant on this being any kind of workshop deck. I mean, maybe we'll get there, but... Okay, Boros Signet helps a little bit. It's a non-color signet. Deceiver Exarch, man. We've seen Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch. That's interesting. I think I'm just taking the Deceiver Exarch. There is a, a, a slim chance we could see like a Kiki Jiki. I think we saw Splinter Twin in pack one. 
Making sure there's nothing else in this pack that's like... Yeah. I don't hate Gilded Lotus. I mean, we do have Metalworker, so you want artifacts to reveal to it. You're going to go on the sideboard for now. Or either I'm play Disenchant or Ancient Grudge. Probably not both in the main deck. Inferno Titan also just fine. Eh, Narset's fine, but like it doesn't really do anything for us. Like we're not able to take advantage of it in any real way. <clears throat> I want to take the Gilded Lotus. Again, I just want artifacts to hit off of. Um, to hit, to hit with Metalworker. Um, yeah, we're definitely taking Rakdos Signet here. See, now we're getting somewhere. Through the breach. If we took that Emrakul, we'd through the breach, I think. But I think right now we're just taking Sundering Titan because that's been a card that's really impressed us this this go around. Uh, empty the more. Amisha's Factory is just another card we can metal work. Let me see you metal work it. I'm going to just take. It's not. Oh, wow. Emery and Tezzeret came back. Oh, that's exciting. Hmm. Emery seems decent here. We can get back Lotus Bloom, right? No. No. <laughs> no. That's not how that works. Um, I can see taking Vindicate here. We have Bractos Signet. I don't think it's Jar here. Take an exhum. Banefire. Necromancy. Shrine. Okay, so I'd have no idea what this deck is doing. This is wild. <clears throat> I want a wire cable around my forearm with a bunch of little Studio Ghibli characters sitting on it. Katie, is this your idea or is this Thank an you. idea you saw? Because I have to tell you, I personally, I personally do have an issue with people taking other people's tattoo ideas and then making them theirs. That's a personal thing for me. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so... What do we got here? We got Mox, Tundra, Sheldock, Arid Mesa. So we don't have the best mana. I don't even know if we can support the double red for... I guess we have two red signets, though. That's not bad. I don't think I like Winter Orb, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, unless we have, like, an Urza to tap the Winter Orb. And we don't have, like... We don't have, like, uh, Worn Power Stone or... Um, like, Theran Dynamo, any of the, the cheaper artifacts i do like that we have both of these guys because these are also nice tinkerable targets like this is actually a pretty sweet tinker deck because we have at least five things before turn two to cast to tinker off of oh not including the mocks so like six hmm i mean actually i don't even hate necromancy here but like i don't want to play any black lands is the problem so i don't really want to go into another black land and because that's the case i almost want to take out the vindicate to be quite honest Um, I wonder if we're just playing like a Thraben Inspector. I kind of like Thraben Inspector and putting in like Wear Tear. Is Wear Tear better than Disenchant? Like these are our three options. I want one of these in the main deck for sure. I'm gonna take Vindicate out. I don't want. I don't think we need any black cards. And I think we'll just be having the mocks and the Rakdos Signet to, to Lingering Souls. <clears throat> no, Chrome Mox is terrible, which is why we're not playing it. I mean, I don't like that I have to have red, but I do like that I can target two things with this. I like that I can target two things with this, and I like that I can target one thing with this, but it's easy to cast. I think wear tear is the 
Needing the red, though, is going to be harder than needing the white. I'll take Disenchant. Um, I think the white cards are just fine. I mean, I think Lingering Souls is great. I think Avison's a win condition. I think Teferi's fantastic. I mean, we could take, like, if we take, see, the problem is here, we take the white cards out. We don't have a ton of cards to really replace them with. So, we move them over here, and now we need six playables, and you're going to be hard-pressed to find six playables that you have multiple fixing for. So, it just doesn't really make sense there. Um, yeah, all right. I'm good with this. Is this a workshop? Are we workshopping? I don't know, probably. Are we Academy Ruinsing? Not without Mind Slaver, I don't think so. Okay, so. <clears throat> three. We actually don't have a tremendous amount of blue, which is kind of funny. But I do want four here. So this is four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five. All right, 9, 10, 11. I actually kind of like this. Not including signets. Yeah, let's do that. I'll donate for a gut shot tattoo. Well, that's something. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're into woodworking. We are always workshopping. <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh, <clears throat> well, well, well. If it isn't Sir Franklin Tiberius Laporte the eighth. Oh my god, that's so many. So I was thinking if Katie's going to get it, if, if Katie's really interested in getting a new tattoo, then I might actually move forward with getting something that I've wanted for the longest time as well. Um, so... Um, Neon Tokyo, let me know. Uh, actually, Neon Tokyo, if you can post who it is in the chat, I'd love to look them up. Mm -hmm. I already gave you the perfect chat idea early in chat. What was it? A tat of Mike B's face on his face. So chat will stop asking where. Oh, that's actually a fucking brilliant idea. Where's Michael B? Well, Michael B as a living, breathing human being, has his own job and life. No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. You're right. That's my bad. Well, this is a pretty bad hand. I think we can do better. I think we can do better than this hand. But if we draw a tinker, oh, man. All right, we're going to keep it. <laughs> God, he's so greedy. He's so greedy. Own life in this economy? <laughs> oh, good gravy. I like that we do our second red source, so if we draw Chandra, we are G2G. Here's my dude's Instagram. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, this is very old school, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll shell dock here. I'm a, I'm a sheller. I see you were a man of culture as well. You know, I do what I can. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. No, don't like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bilbo Baggins. It's not good. Not not like that. Well, I'm not playing any of these these dirtily creatures now. Hmm. That's actually not bad. You get to kill my face? But without giving me any kind of, any kind of, any kind of creatures, you know? Oh, what up, Josh? What's going on? Here's my dude's Instagram. Check out my latest. Is that you? Is that Neon Tokyo Rain himself? Oh my god, things are... Okay. Okay. This is a really awkward position we're in. I really don't want to trigger their Oath of Druids because we have no answer to whatever comes out. So... He wants to get my face tattooed on his butt. Hmm. Well, that sounds accurate. I feel like I've probably mentioned that at some point or another. She wouldn't just make that up, guys. <clears throat> Can you check the Facebook page the other day? I can't stream for. Oh uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll I'll check. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sinning. Are you gonna counter this? You're in a desperate ritual. I'm very, I'm very confused as to what's happening right now. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, dear. That was, that was something right there. Well, we're definitely bringing in wear tear now, because this is just ridiculous. God, what do they get with an Oath of Druids, man? Okay, all I have to go to a face mask and drink my Star Wars, so I like come and on the bed. Oh, boy. I'm actually quite afraid. I, I think we're just stone coil here. I, like, we can't do nothing. We're just going to keep getting hit by Karn. Cough. All right. Oath the Druids, buddy. Let's see it. Gristlebrand! I mean, 6-6 six, six Serpent's beefy, but I have to assume they have some sort of nonsense. Eh, what can you do? I can't target my stone coil with that, at least. That's actually not as bad as I expected. Sure. <clears throat> I have one card in hand. Hmm. 
Well, that is something. Two, three, four, five. We can just cast that next turn. That's kind of cool. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One face on butt tattoo bug. Well, that's going to clearly go to that cause. There's no chance I don't do that. So. So they can shoot us for two, shoot us for two. We go to eight, they attack for seven. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Do I want them to hit another creature? How many could they have in their deck? I don't know. I think we're probably dead, so I might as well just get another look, right? Oh, this costs, whoa, this costs one less. Gilded Lotus and Rakdos Signet. I, I think we have significantly less than six turns to win. I mean, <laughs> they have a flying 5-5. Five, five. Oh, Woolmog. Okay, so actually they're unlikely to get milled with an Woolmog in their deck. Our bribery is looking choice here. We, we kept a pretty bad hand. Oh, good. Well, might as well see what you got here. I mean, yeah, we're dead here. That's that's a thing, all right. Wear tear comes in. Um, anything else we care about? Necromancy could be decent if we get rid of their guys. How wonderful Christmas time. Um, do we want lingering souls against them? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, Thrift and Mitch, feel free. Um,. I mean, like, post a link to the list, obviously, not like the... Oh, uh, we're not bringing in Vindicate. We have one black source in our entire deck. I guess... I mean, I guess two, but still not still not enough to feel comfortable. I don't hate... Okay, sure, on five mana. I mean, like, five mana, we have we have black on... If we're able to, to get to five mana and cast a Lotus... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just, yeah, I think this is fine. Turn one metal worker. What does that do? Let's just cast Duretti. I think we can keep this hand. <clears throat> it didn't seem like they had a ton of removal. If we saw more planeswalkers, I can consider bringing in Banefire, but I mean, it's really hard for me to justify bringing in a uh, like a a fireball type effect just for one like one planeswalker, you know. So next time we have five mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we have. S well, we actually have a lot of. Three. Done. Play this. One, two, three, five. Hmm. Suddenly, one, two, three, four. We have six mana. Life has new meaning for me. So what is this? This is we're one shy of tinkering if we want to tinker as well. We can go triple blue Emery here. Which costs one. Hits mere battle Shut spear. Up and take my money. Okay. Oh, butt face tattoo, butt munch. 
it's, I'm a fan. I'm such a fan. I mean, I almost want to... We got a tinker here, right? So long, metal worker. I hardly knew you. Yep, it seems fine. I'm not gonna suspend Lotus Bloom because the man is less important than having a, another card to discard to Duretti. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we can just do that at any time, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, let's get in there for seven. Well, that's, that's something. I wonder if they literally just drew you through the Force of Will or the second blue card, because that's interesting. You got it. <laughs> you love to see it. Four, five. Meh. Oh, we just win the game. I mean, I'm not sure what they could have hit. Like, we saw Primeval Titan, Ulamog, and... Um, what was the last one we saw? Uh, Ashen Rider, none of which do anything against an Inkwell Leviathan. So. You should get a beaut tattooed on your butt. Then you could tell people your butt's a beaut and they could give you funny looks. No, don't encourage these people. <laughs> dear, dear Lord. Boom, 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 boom. These people, <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Uh, this is a turn two Chandra, which is kind of cool. Also, Chandra's a nice threat to put on the board if you're trying to avoid things like uh, Oath of Druids. How about a family portrait of you, Katie, Mike B, and the dogs tattooed on your butt? Yeah. <laughs> you guys did forget, little man. Oh, they went to five? They forgot Lil' Man. And they forgot Lady, too. Unbelievable. I guess we're just finger... What, babe? Those are sins. Oh, an island? Perfect. Perfect! That's a, that's a voice from Street Fighter, just so you guys know. Let's play a land. Let's see what we can hit here. Oh, no. I guess you got it. Four. Doretti Spaghetti. Let's discard this and this. Okay. 
well, that's pretty good next turn. Should have played that first, I guess. No, you shouldn't have because you don't want to, you want to have all your mana active in case you hit something good here. So I guess we're just going to tinker into a Sundering Titan. Oh. You know what? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. Well, I can't do anything about it, but I also don't care a ton. So let's do this. Let's go with this guy. We want, yeah, that seems fine. So we're going to go one, two, three. Tinker. Get rid of Mox. Sundering Titan. Oh, we have to get rid of our Tundra too? That's not good. I did forget about that, unfortunately. Oh well, I think we're in better shape, so I'm not too worried about it. Like, can they even attack here? I don't think so. Yeah, that was my thought as well. Um, this is probably correct, right? How do we lose here? Uh, it was probably better to kill our own island, yes. I, I definitely misplayed, but what can you do? I mean, they go to six. If we can hit a, a second spell to cast off of this, it's very, very good. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. Oh, that was okay. Might as well make this guy. This is also lethal next turn if they don't have anything to put to the board, which their deck does not seem like it would. Okay. Sure. <laughs> if they get island, oh, that's actually just brutal. Fascinating. Yep, I have one card left in my deck. Do they have Ancestral Recall? That would be amazing. Oof. Oof. That was a live one right there, boy. That was a game. Wait, why what? I mean, they didn't really do anything questionable. I mean, it doesn't matter if they played drop or not. Like, one of the seven seven power creatures is getting through. Like, you know, I mean, like, because... 
ankle being unblockable doesn't matter. They're at, they're at 11. No, eight. They were at eight. So like, you know, as long as one of the sevens and the three, three get through, which they're going to, unless they play a creature, like it doesn't matter if they gets unblockable or not. It's just a nice bonus feature. There was a sweat and then the epic. It's true. Man. Oh. Well then. I'm going to keep this. I'd rather obviously sacrifice Hangerback Walker to Tinker than than a mox, which is mana. Mana. This is my hanger back walker. These are you well, that was real rude. I didn't like that at all. You're the worst kind of dude. Probably not going to walk into... Probably not going to walk into that. Whatever nonsense they have up here. Get in there, you little walker. Hang a back walker. Hang a back walker. Got to do ready. Oh, wow, that resolved. I think we actually get rid of balance here, to be quite honest. I don't feel like we're balancing, but maybe we are. Yeah, get rid of balance. I guess we could have also not gotten rid of balance. That's an option as well. <laughs> Lance, have a good afternoon, buddy. Appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, balance, I, I think balance would have been fine to hit them cards. We would have lost our hanger back, and I don't know if I'm ready to give that up, guys. But we're in a nice position where we can discard Inkwell. They discarded Flame Tongue and Frost Titan. Interesting. Okay. We got the Peas Father. Hmm. Lightning striking to ready. Oh, you sweet summer child. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't do both of these. Uh, do we play land? Oh, we can do both. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, three, four. Teferi. Draw a card. <sighs> Amateur hour here, guys. Amateur hour. Unforgiven. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Um, actually, I mean, oh, all right. I mean, like, this is not actually terrible because we only have to kill one planes here. 
Yeah, that's actually great. I'm completely fine with how that worked out. And now we still have six mana, so if we hit a land, we get to Battle Sphere. If they kill this, they lose two more lands. Sure. Deal. Okay. Let's draw a card. This actually worked out well. Cyvax with the raid. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Uh, let's untap these two again. Okay. Are you through the breaching? They might through the breach here. I feel it through the breach. It's all conscripts. It's good. I mean, they could take Teferi and tuck something, but then Teferi, I mean, is fine. Tuck me your battle sphere? Like, sure. It's actually like just fine, dude. Oh, you know, don't attacks even. I mean, I'm meh. Yeah, that's actually okay. Well, now we're living the dream. Um, draw a card. They're tapped out, huh? One, two, Signet. We're not playing around days here, but we haven't actually seen them have a days, and I doubt it's the last card in their hand. So, deal. I mean, if they have Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin, it's rough. And by rough, I mean we die. So maybe we should have played around that, but... Oh, please have Splinter Twin. Okay. Now Kiki Jiki's not on the menu. Okay, this is actually very good for us. Okay, I think we're just in, in driver's seat. That'll do. All right. Like, we gave them one window, so. One window? A one-turn window? This definitely seems like... We saw Chrome Mox. We saw Signet. Could see bringing an ancient grudge and swapping a mountain for a stomping ground. Sundering Titan gets worse if you have a stomping ground, though, because then you're gonna have to sacrifice a another land. Uh, because this is easier to cast. I mean, we realistically only have six sources of red, so if there's a situation where we don't draw a red source, like, it's just easier to cast the Disenchant. And there's a, you know, it, it's, it's, there's a lot more artifacts in the format. I'm going to bring in this. Yeah, I think this is probably just correct. I think 41 is probably fine here. All 
Oh boy. I mean, this is not bad. This is a turn two course of Portal, which is pretty sweet. They did go to six. I mean, if we could hit a metal worker or something, that'd be sweet. Oh, okay. Shelly. Um, we're gonna play Sheldock here, because then next turn we can still play Metal Worker. Inky. And by Metal Worker, I mean Course of Portal. That's a lot of mana they got here. We could bribery next turn if bribery was an artifact. going on out there what oh dear what if we say carnage let's say homage I want to draw some cards don't be two lands though oh, hanger beasy So I think we're going to stomp here. One, two. Play this guy. And then Emerino. Oh, Sundering, Sundering T. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Joke's on you. I was off it anyway. Oh, wow. Give me a white source here. I kind of want to say Carnage. Nah, we're going to homage. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So we can actually play Metal Worker. They might tap it down, but I think it's one, two, one, two, three. Actually, we're just gonna play Signet into Pump this guy. Cause next turn we can we can Lingering Souls as well. Um, and if they don't tap down our hanger back, we can just block and make three. They have two cards in hand, I like that. They have three cards in hand. I like that less. We're also at 23 cards, so we're actually quite close to just shellying a, an Inky Boy. Oh, Inky Boy. Three blockers. Seems good. Bribery. Also seems decent. Oh, wow. That makes me very incredibly sad. <laughs> carnage, 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 carnage. Oh, they didn't. They didn't carnage us. Wow, that's very good. Yep, we are having a time here. 
<sighs> Boy. Wow, that was a very good draw. Go up to five, huh? That is a thing. None of these are exciting, unfortunately, but they do have, this does give us a good look at their deck. They have Kiki Jiki Pestermite Zealous. They might have drawn Splinter Twin. Let's take the whole kit and caboodle. God, the stupid Consecrated Sphinx, man. That's kind of funny. Whatever we take, we get to keep forever. Bribery, they're Sphinx. That's a great idea. I don't know how you come up with these plays. You should be on the Pro Tour. Kiki doesn't do anything. It makes 1-1 one -one copies. I mean, I think Zealous Conscripts is significantly better here just because it, it lets us attack for more if it's going to 10 this turn. And then we have Inkwell Leviathan on deck. Wow, Conscripts are Sphinx, then sack it to Siege Gang. Pro Tour competitor, Elk Tears. Plus they also have the the looming pressure of mana vault here. Oh, I guess they're gonna they're gonna take that pressure off. They were feeling it. I think the play was makeshift mannequin. The play is always makeshift mannequin, to be fair, so I can't even disagree with you there. I'm not sure how we're winning this game. Interesting. That was the wrong choice, my dude. So you block here, you take three. We bring out the inkwell. Six. I, I'm definitely I'm actually gonna block here. Reason being that like if they control our turn, like we don't know how much back to back damage they're gonna be dealing us. Let's Carnage again. See if they want to... No? Okay. No Carnage for you? Disenchant? Dang it, Signet. Dang it, Signet! How to get to Sesame Street... We're going to put them to seven because then Titan is lethal. Yeah, this is fine. We get to kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we actually just need to play Duretti. No, we need to play Chandra and then keep up. One, two, three, four. Oh, we could, they can, oh, but then they sack our... I guess that's fine. It doesn't feel fine, actually. I have no idea if that's fine or not. I actually don't know what the play is here. Mindslaver is a real jerk. Do we see Forcible in their deck? Oh, we did see a Force of Will in our deck, and they just drew four cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, doesn't matter.
Oh, what up, Josh? Josh, hey. Bribery is much better when Zealous, when, when Frost Titan and Consecrated Sphinx are both in their deck still. Young Peasonal. You got it. Man, triple Josh. That's so many Joshes. Oh dear. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? I mean, we figured they had it. It was very obvious, but what can you do? Like, it took quite a while. I'm actually surprised they didn't encounter the Chandra, but... I mean... Uh, no blockers. So we got a 12, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 9 power on board. I guess if they lightning strike, they can just kill us. <laughs> What are we voting for, my dude? Oh. Homage. I see. Does Black Lotus count as a land? Usually, yeah. Usually you can count it as a land. It really depends on the deck, though. There's definitely decks where you want 17 lands plus Lotus. Man, this hand felt very good with the turn two coercive purdle. Purdle? <laughs> hey, I got that turn two cursive purdle. Coercive turtle, you say? <laughs> oh, man. I will summon my coercive turtle. Oh, watch you all the time. Frank, you're great. Wish I could give you more. Dude, Shawnee, thank you so much for the for the support, buddy. Really said it. Really, really said it. Really appreciate it. Mavaka Ghost, appreciate it, buddy. This is really taking a while. T -t -t Today, Junior. I guess we're attacking with one Thopter. He's like, I want you to have a fewer blocker, but I also, I don't want to take that much damage, you know? So. What do they do? They just tapped my mana and did nothing? Interesting. I mean, I, I personally probably would have, uh, 
put Doretti into place, sack the course of Portal to get back a, you know, a uh, hanger back for zero. I mean, we could just be dead here. If they have lightning strike, we're just dead, which is, uh, you know, I mean, I, I wonder why that would have taken them this long, but. Especially when you know our hand. Oh, this elemental? It's clearly a green token. <laughs> I don't know. This is like taking quite a bit. I mean, I assume they're they're attacking with everything and tapping down my Thopter, but... Yep. So we're at four. We're not lightning strike dead. That's good. I'm still going to Carnage, man. If you want to blow up the board, I'll give it to you. I got a million mana. A million cards, a million mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With ten mana, so seven and three. That doesn't do it. Mox Jet will do it. Ancient Grooge. One, two, three. I'll have a counter spell. Oh, I'm a counter spelling man. You got it. So go block, block, we take two, sure. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Unless we're dead, and then in which case, that's the worst. All right. Uh, the problem with Avacyn is that it costs double white and it prevents us from playing other spells this turn that, that impact the board. Um, I want to play Lingering Souls and Mirror Battlesphere because they put the most bodies on the board where Avacyn is great, but doesn't really do everything we need. Are we going to shuffle everything? Because that would be interesting. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I, I feel like for 6 mana, like that's a fucking deal, dude. Like, we draw one card, they draw, eh, I guess only three, but, I mean, they have a ton of mana to use with it, so. Plus, all you have to do is hit, like, Lightning Strike, or Zealous Conscripts here. Like, there's, this is, just put the, you, you really just gotta commit to memory here, I think. Okay, so you had the lightning strike. Really don't know why you fucking slow rolled it for 20 minutes. That's really kind of weird. What like why take fucking 30 minutes to lightning strike me? That's really obnoxiously weird. I'm tapped out. Like you literally all you have to do is tap your tap your guys sideways and uh and shoot me in the face. It's really not complicated. 
Um, um I kind of like this, sure. And we have a Rakdos thing and an Ancient Grudge for a turn three course of portal here. If we can. You can let us bloom sure. Really? <laughs> Jesus. Amazing. It's all, it's all working out here. Land? Okay. Thank you. <sighs> Two cards in hand. Do we literally just stone coil into Tinker here? Like they're deck, we, we know force of will and commits memory. They have to have force and another blue card in hand. I, I think it's probably worth it here. <sighs> Never don't have it, I guess. Mavaka goes, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh. You got it. Mm, you'd like to pay three? Nah, I'm good. Sure. One card in hand? Seems good. I don't have double blue here, so we're going to actually play this instead because <laughs> double blue is important. But it shouldn't take too long to get double blue, I imagine. Let's go, homage. One, two. Lingering Souls? Arid Mesa. That gets a Tundra. So that's cool. Plus we've seen two of the, the three counter spells we know they have. The other one is Commit to Memory, which doesn't actually completely stop us. I mean, unless their hand is like commit to memory and then they go memory, draw like land. Like that'd be pretty, pretty wild, I would imagine. Oh, they're tapping out for some nonsense. That's okay. I'm going to laugh. I mean, like if this sequence of plays does not allow us to win the game, I'm going to be quite surprised. I wonder if we carnage. Let's carnage here. Let's see if they want to. Kill everything. They did not. They're like, no. It's too good. One, two, three, four, five. 
I mean, I'm tempted to take Zealous, steal this, and shoot their Brazen Borrower. I mean, that seems good, right? Because otherwise, this is like 246 Brazen Borrower. I mean, as much as I... I mean, I think we win the long game. Right, my concern is definitely the damage. Uh, hold on. No, cancel. This guy, target you. Pay the red in this. Sack a goblin, yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's totally fine, I think, I guess. Well, that was a good draw. Really? Not insta-kill the Raven Inspector, huh? I mean, I have no pressure on the board, so I don't know why. I guess it doesn't matter. Chandra was a really good draw there, especially when we're at six. I might keep Carnaging. I wonder if they'll ever accidentally hit Carnage. Never. The answer was never. Okay, that's actually not bad. Uh, one, two, three. Lingers. One, two. Flashy boys. Oh, it's not F6. We have Disenchant in hand. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm sure their, their last card in hand is Lightning Strike, right? <laughs> That's just how it go. I mean, we're definitely not going to four against a Chandra here. Even if our guys are more valuable. You want Carnage? You did not want a Carnage. They never want a carnage. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we can probably live at the next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I mean, does that do anything? I'm unsure. I mean, I will. I will disenchant my own hangerback walker if they want to get rid of that thing, or if they want to. Oh, they just left it. X. Wait, what now? What's happening right now? Yep, that is one of the few cards we were afraid of. Well, that's not good. Let's get rid of this. We're not going to be getting rid of it next turn. And it lets us kill Chandra here with four flyers. You want a carnage? I'll keep Carnage in. My board's looking swift. Now they're thinking about it. No, they still said no. Okie dokie. Oh, fascinating. Okay. They've used Force of Will. That's good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chandra does nothing here.
I'd like to keep two flyers back, but I don't know if that's possible. Uh, she does not kill Sphinx, no. Okay. One, two, three, four at Chandra. Yeah, we actually can make like a 9-9 nine, nine Sphinx here, which is actually pretty decent. No, it's actually a 10-10, ten, ten, isn't it? That's actually really good. Um... Or, I think a 6-6 six, six is probably better, and playing the Chandra. I'm going to kill this idiot. I mean, 6 is big enough that not many things they could have should deal with this. All right. I mean, having a bunch of outs, uh, having a bunch of answers in hangar back and stone coil is pretty good. We just have to like dodge like lightning strikes and things. As far as we've seen, oh, they have chain lightning and lightning strike. Okay, so they're actually going to tap this down and then lightning strike the spirit and kill us. So that's good. Yep, they had to, they drew both of those things and played around it spectacularly with uh, amazing top deck skill. So that's cool. Nice. And if we let Chandra live, then we just die to lightning strike. So amazing, amazing skill from our opponent. Amazing top deck skills. <laughs> Good times. Fantastic. I mean, they had to have they had to have spell pierce for our turn one play. They had uh, force of will for our tinker with one other blue card in hand, of, of course. I mean, what are you going to do? Like, we had Bribery. They had both Frost Titan and Consecrated Sphinx on the board already. And those were their best targets. So. What can you do? The only thing that keeps me alive is your salt. Well, it's the least I can do. It's the least I can do is to, to keep you guys nutrient-rich. Nutrition. Nutrition. Down here, salt is a way of life. Just so you guys know. Y'all ever dump the crumbs at the bottom of your pretzel bag in your mouth? Oh, God, yeah. I dump the crumbs of all, all chip bags into my mouth. That's where most of the flavor lives. That's where, like, the salt gets. That's where all the cheese gets. The chips at the bottom of the Dorito bag always have the absolute most chips. Cheese. Cheese. And every time it's too salty, but I'll never stop. I'll never stop. You'll have to pry the, the bottom of the chip bag from my cold, dead hands. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. Turn one metal worker actually seems pretty decent. I'm, I'm actually in for turn one metal worker, right? And then you go one, two, three, four. Or we can play double signet. No, we're definitely metal working. Metal work it. Right? Metal work it? If they kill the metal worker, we're in real bad shape. Let's keep that in mind. 
What happens if we signet signet? We still can't tinker. Fuck it. We're not cowards here. We're not cowards. This is this is this is this is real life shit here. Plus, if we hit any land, we just play signet, so whatever. We should invent Dorito crumbs, just a whole bag of left. I don't know why they don't. Like everybody knows that's the cheesiest, best part. I want those chips to be just covered in orange. I want them to look nuclear. I want them to be look radioactive. Do we have any other big tinker targets? I mean, we have three, right? We have Sundering Titan, we have uh, Inkwell Leviathan, and we have Mere Battlesphere. All right, well, blue mana is not the scariest to see against my Metalworker, unless they go Rex Sage. Strip mine! What a little shit. Whatever. I could not care less. Oh man, I really can't care less now. That's bananas. We do need a blue source for everything in our hand, but you know what? One, two, three, four. Show me them artifacts. I'm going to get Boros Signet out here. Because the reason is we want, if we get a white source, we can just go like, or a blue source, we can, we have one, two, three, four, and then the blue source, we can just play Teferi here. Well, that's not a blue source yet, but one day, man, killing that Tundra was just epic, man. We still got Stony Boy, right? That guy's riding high. I don't think we're actually going to activate this. Maybe we should have just gotten in there for one extra point, you know? I'll suspend here. Ten mana draw for is in the cube still? I don't even know what that is, man. I don't think there was ever a ten mana draw four. Are you thinking of the live the dream cube? Because that sounds like a that sounds like a cube that's gonna have a ten mana draw four. You ever wear a hat? No, I'm not a hat guy. Oh, that gets a tundra. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Let's hit Thank him again. You. Are we just going to win with this Stone Coil Serpent? Because that's pretty wild, man. Arctic Avenger with the resub. Really appreciate it, man. That gets a planes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Literal, just a generic 8 8 Stone Coil Serpent. We could have played this guy, right? Uh, what do we got? One, four, five, six, seven. We would have been one shy. That's sad. Man, no blue sources coming up though. That that tundra kill was was really what you wanted in your in your life. I refuse to I I never I didn't say I'd never wear a hat. I just I I I I've definitely worn hats before and I had phases where I was like trying to see if hats were what I wanted, but I'm just it didn't really work and I'm not really a hat guy. So yeah. Hmm. This hand is really interesting. And we're definitely keeping it and going course of portal. Maybe on turn two. Uh, it's a turn one portal with a mana vault, but I don't think one card. I don't think the one card is worth really, you know, cashing in our mana vault. What, what is this deck?
Two white cards, huh? Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Like, next turn we can just play it off of both of these and not worry about it. Like, I mean, with Inkle Leviathan in hand, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the Lotus. So I'm kind of like, might as well just save it. Oh, yeah, I probably would have definitely played turn one, five, five. Especially because, you know, they had a decently hard time dealing with it last game, so. I'm not going to pay for that ability. Isn't that weird? Gonna play this portal. Here it comes. They're gonna. They're gonna ancient grudge our portal. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm still going to get my... Yeah, give me that white source, boy. Nice. I'm a fan. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, now we're just cashing it. Oh, we're not going to cash it in because it's double blue. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, geez. Man. Assassin's Trophy on the portal, huh? Uh, yeah, no blocks. I'll take three. Hmm. Well, that is a thing. I'm really surprised they're letting me keep this mana vault around for as long as they are. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need 14. We need 16. Dang. This is brutal. I'm really surprised they haven't killed something here. This is actually quite shocking to me. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's not ideal. It's not great, Bob. Hmm. I feel like we're just attacking here with these two guys. I mean, we just slam Inkwell Leviathan, I think, because that's not going to... They might actually kill one of these guys, which makes balance a little bit better. Because then they got to lose... Probably Pride Mage, Pride Mage and, and Grim Lava Mancer. Yeah, this is what we are hoping for, actually. Because now we can actually go balance... Uh, we sack one land, which is fine. They lose two creatures, and then we get to play Leviathan after that. I 
So we're going to go to two cards. They're going to have two cards. Um, we do have to sack a land, so we'll sack a mountain. Mm, no, we'll sack the workshop, because then any land lets us play Teferi next turn. Balance does not do artifacts. No, it does hand, creatures, and lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're just going to overpay here, but actually, we don't have to tap everything for this, right? I mean, they can keep, they're probably just keeping Hex Shrinker, but I mean, that's going to lose to Inkwell Leviathan, so I think this game is pretty much over. Choose four lands you control. One, two, three, four. Done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's it's unfortunate. If we had one more land, we'd actually be. Did I overpay? Apparently I did. Eh, doesn't matter. I think he's still coming down. That's two turn clock. And if we draw a tab, I mean, we're definitely cashing the mana vault in, but that's kind of funny. Oh God. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Don't actually care about that. We're just gonna tuck that with Marari's Wake to be safe. Or uh, with Tefri rather, if we hit a land here. Nope. Oh, that's, see, that's funny. Oh, one, two, three, four, done. <laughs> I hope two way is still watching because that's hilarious. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on twitch.tv slash frank Cool stuff, Inc. And I'll see you next time. That was a good draft. I, I enjoyed it.